Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 175th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. All right, and to start off, I want to talk about jailbreaking, more specifically the Evasion 7 untethered jailbreak utility. Now, I'm sure as most of you are aware by now, the Evaders released their iOS 7 through 7.0.4 jailbreak in the form of Evasion 7 last month. And now over this past week, the team has released two new updates to the utility. The first one being 1.0.3 to bring better compatibility and support for the second generation Retina iPad Mini. And the second and most current version 1.0.4 was issued to add extra quote untether security and further iPad Mini 2 support. And similar to past versions of Evasion 7, the latest update is still a one-click jailbreak 7.0.4 utility that's also capable of jailbreaking all previous iterations of iOS 7 on all iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch models. Don't worry though, for those of you who are already jailbroken using a previous version of Evasion 7, you can take advantage of the updates made available in 1.0.4 simply by opening Cydia, going to the Changes section at the bottom, tapping Refresh, and installing all available updates. Again though, if if you used Evasion 1.0.4, you won't see those updates. And I actually made an in-depth video on the topic that contains more details. I highly recommend watching it because I also discuss some other crucial updates as well as listing one of my absolute favorite Cydia tweaks of all time that enables true video multitasking on iOS. Next, earlier this week, Sarik, the creator of Cydia and Substrate, released an update for Winterboard, version 0.9.3914. And in addition to adding complete functionality for jailbroken devices running iOS 7.0 through 7.0.4, the latest iteration also adds ARM 64 or 64-bit A7 CPU compatibility. In other words, the iPhone 5S, the Retina iPad Mini 2, and the iPad Air can now enjoy the visual benefits of theming. And for those of you who are unaware, Winterboard is a powerful theme platform for iOS devices that empowers developers with the option to replace visual components of iOS. Don't worry though, themes are fully reversible and interchangeable. So again, thanks to Sarek, all of those who jailbreak 7.0.4 can now take full advantage of existing and future Cydia themes. And of course I create a video specifically on that topic, and in said video I also reveal and detail my favorite free Winterboard theme. So if you're at all interested in Winterboard, theming your device, and where to get started, just be sure to check out that video. Also last night I published a video on my new top 10 Cydia tweaks list, and this video differs from my previous top Cydia tweaks in the sense that all of the packages, tweaks, extensions, and modifications detailed are available inside of Cydia 100% for free. So if you're jailbroken and you're looking for some really great Cydia packages, or maybe you don't know where to get started once jailbroken, I highly recommend utilizing my latest list, and I'll have a link to that down below. Moving on, but still very related, referencing an article from Jailbreak Evasion 7, recently Sarek issued a very safe, and I mean that literally, update for jailbroken iOS 7.0.4 devices. So following the hacker's recent Winterboard and Cydia substrate updates, a new iOS 7 compatible safe mode version is now available inside Cydia. And although the package's name may not sound as though it's paramount, it truly is. It's the only line of defense between your device and tweaks that are incompatible with it. Now previously, if one were to jailbreak 7.0.4, the new iteration of safe mode wouldn't be installed, resulting in confusion if a tweak or extension caused the springboard to crash. Well, now when a device's springboard crashes with the latest version of safe mode installed, all tweaks built upon Cydia substrate will be disabled, the wallpaper will be replaced with a default gray background, and the customary quote exit safe mode message will be displayed in the status bar. To return the device to its normal jailbroken state, it's extremely simple. Tap the status bar, followed by restart. And that safe mode update as well as some other key things are discussed in my recent security update video, which again will be linked to below. All right, and that basically concludes all of the new things I want to talk about in today's episode. In summary though, there are some very important updates inside of Cydia, a new version of Winterboard was released, and I issued a new top tweaks list. So I have video coverage on all of those. They can be found on my channel as well as linked to in the more info. All right, and before concluding, I also wanted to let you guys know a few things. First of all, I am still working on my 2014 Tesla Model S review video. 
just be sure to stay tuned for that. And next, I want to let you guys know that I may take a break from Best Tech and Phone Rumors to pursue other video projects that I've wanted to accomplish for a while now. However, that doesn't mean that this series will end, it just means that I might temporarily take a break from it. And on that note, if you guys like this video and you want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card, just be sure to rate it up and hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new videos and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comments have been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And don't forget to enter soon because it will be concluding after this week's episode. And if you don't know what to leave in the comment section, try answering the question of the day. Do you think I should temporarily pursue other video projects? Again, whatever your thoughts on the topic are, just be sure to let me know down below in the comment section or on Jailbreak Tech Info. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, add me on your circles inside of Google Plus, and follow me on Instagram at ICU ID. Again, links to everything below. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.